1642 was when Isaac Jr. was born, and Isaac Sr.'s death was only briefly mourned. For his mother left him with his granny and ran off with her new baby daddy. Isaac James wasn't too happy about that. And when 12 years of age in 1654, he attended the King James School where he could learn more. And the bullies, yes, they were relentless, but they could not prevent his greatest successes. A fellowship at Trinity is where his honors begin, as well as the Lucasian chair and the Royal Mint. Became the prez of the Royal Society and was knighted by the Royal and the Mighty. In 1661 went to Cambridge, you had studied real hard. And in 1665 discovered gravity in his backyard. A plausible myth. In 1664 studied Descartes' math and physics and discovered the phenomena of light patterns known as optics. Yeah. And leading up to 1693, Newton continued to stretch his capabilities. He helped to develop the basis of infinitesimal calculus. The Principia was published in 1867, finally, which discusses mechanics in motion and theories regarding density, most of which still universally exists, but before I forget and end this, learning Newton's three laws of motion won't hurt one outside forces change inertia Two defines acceleration Three contact forces have static sensation Well the last one was a little tough Just remember every action Has an equal and opposite reaction That should be enough On March 1st, 1727 Isaac Newton died and went up to heaven. A deeply religious man. He reached for the stars, but in the end, Mercury turned out to be a bad friend. Mercury was a bad 